All right, so I've got this uh, Neo Geo one slot board here. And you see I got Puzzle Bobble in there. Uh, if I go ahead and turn this on, you see we just get this uh, weird green screen there. Now, uh, there's two issues with this board. Um, one is if we look up near uh, where this battery is, it's a rechargeable uh, Nikkei battery. And uh, you can see it leaks, it's leaked all over this board. That's a very common problem with these MVS boards. Um, that rechargeable battery after about a decade or so will start to leak and cause all sorts of problems. So uh, if you look next to that um, battery, right to the left, there's a little uh, crystal. It's a 32.768 kilohertz uh, little crystal there. And that is badly corroded as well. It's gotten leaked on from that battery. So I think that's what's causing our green screen over here is that bad crystal. So we have two things we gotta do with this board. We gotta take that battery out. Um, we're gonna replace it with a little holder for a non-rechargeable battery. Um, takes these little uh, uh, 2032 batteries here. So we're gonna replace it with that. And so that means we have to do two things. Um, we gotta take out this battery. And if you look right behind that battery right there, there's a little diode and a resistor. That resistor is a 470 ohm resistor. You can see it's printed around the board there, which is handy. And so that diode and that resistor are what's responsible for charging that battery. So what we need to do is remove that 470 ohm resistor and uh, then we're going to put the battery, we're going to remove that other battery, put the holder there, the battery holder, and a non-rechargeable battery. So, but we need to take out that resistor so it doesn't try to charge that non-rechargeable battery. And then we need to replace that crystal as well, which should hopefully solve our actual problem. And in the course of doing this, we're gonna clean up all this corrosion that's on this board um, as well. You can see even over here, it's pretty yucky. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'll guide you through this uh, little repair and hopefully uh, we get a working board on the other end. Stay tuned. Go now we got a much better view, and we can go ahead and we can clean up all this corrosion that's on here. That's good. Oh, it looks like we also got a nice little spill on there of some gunk, so we'll clean that up as well. Use I like to use a. Uh, paintbrush here to give everything a first uh, clean. <sighs> Let's see, those, uh, these two little capacitors here look pretty not great also. So, okay. So you can see that battery a little bit better. You can see how corroded that is. And so that's the battery we're gonna be removing. And then you can see this crystal is pretty gunked up too. These guys might also need to replace. So we'll see, maybe we can just clean those up. And then it looks like we got a kind of a spill or something right here. So we're gonna clean that up while we're at it. So we got this board flipped over here. You can see the battery's right there. So on the other side where we need to get to is this uh, covering right here. So we're gonna need to take this off I'm just going to carefully uh, pry this off and uh, then we'll get to the solder side underneath. Alright, so this padding is kind of a pain in the ass to get up, but I pulled it up enough so I can expose uh, these two uh, solder terminals here 
and that's our battery right there, and then that little crystal's right over here. So I'm gonna leave the rest where it is. We can glue that back down once we're done. Um, but I have enough to get to the two points I need to get to. So I'm gonna desolder this battery right here, and then um, we'll start there. So before I can desolder this, I just took a razor blade and uh, separated that glue uh, that's holding the, the board on right like that. So I just went through there, uh, got that glue disconnected, and now I can flip the board back over and desolder that uh, battery. So now I've got our battery removed. I went ahead and uh, just clipped off uh, that 470 ohm uh, resistor that was right there. And then the last thing I need to get to is this crystal. And so there's a little bar that holds it down here. And so that's two solder points for those. And then there's two solder points for the actual crystal. So I'm gonna get that bar off first, remove that, um, and then remove the crystal. All right, doesn't look super pretty, but I've got my battery uh, disconnected. I got the pin that holds the crystal in place out and the crystal itself, which was right there. Now what I'm gonna do is take um, some flux and put it on there and then I'm gonna use uh, my soldering iron and a soldering wick to clean up all those holes to get them ready for your uh, installation. I'm probably gonna do the same on the part side of the board as well. Take some alcohol. Clean this all up. All right, that's looking pretty good there. Got my battery nicely removed, the crystal removed, and that resistor removed. So now we just got to put everything back together. So. Let's get to it. Now you see where the old battery was. There's actually a circle there. And so these boards were designed to uh, accommodate a number of type of batteries. And so, oopsies. So here's my uh, uh, 2032 non-rechargeable battery holder. And you can see that this fits right in there. It almost looks like it's supposed to go there. So that's gonna fit just perfectly. Now you see uh, there's two holes over here for the positive. Those are both positive, depending on like the type of battery or the type of holder that you're putting in there. You can put them in either of those. Those are both connected. And on these types of battery holders, it's a little hard, this one's a little different, but the battery sits in there and the bottom of the battery, which is negative, hits this uh, tab right here, and the positive hits that part. So that is the positive and that is the negative. So. It's going to go in like that. Okay. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and replace this little crystal that goes right there. All right, got that new uh, crystal in there, no problem. And now I'm going to put that battery holder back in like this. Pop right in. And then just going to be a quick solder on the back, and we're done. Last little part I forgot on the back side of the board, we had to pull up this uh, pad here, this protective uh, thing here. And so all I'm doing is I just put two pieces of uh, double-sided tape on the, the back there to hold that back down in place. And then we're good. That's it. All right, we've got everything back together. So last thing is to put our battery in there. Don't forget to take the little thing off the bottom of the battery.
I'm going to put a game in there, start it up, and see what happens. Um, I don't have the, the bracket on here that holds the, kind of the game in place, but you can still put a game in there. All right, so we got everything connected. We got a game in there. Let's go ahead and turn it on, see what happens. That's where it stopped before. And look at that. Neo Geo. Hell yeah. Let's put a coin in there. All right. That's great. So there we have it. Um, so the actual problem with this board was that little crystal that we replaced right there. But also we fixed that battery at the same time. And now the last thing to do is we're going to um, clean up this, uh, the guard here that holds everything in place. I'm just gonna use a piece of scotch right there to, to clean up that corrosion. You don't wanna take the finish off of these. Um, and then we're gonna put it all back together Let's uh, play some puzzle, puzzle Bobble. Also, I want to try this Arrow Fighters 3 cart that I just got. So, great news. Uh, everything went great.